the thing about this theater is that uh, because we have multiple movies playing at the same time, you know, there's usually something for everybody. So it's very hard to please all of the people. But we try and create a lineup of films if they're available. That you know, there's kind of artier films, there's a little bit more popcorn films, and there's all sorts of different things. So I think that generally. If you are moving to this area, you hopefully will find something that you like. I think that it's a diverse area, and so uh, we have to be diverse in the kinds of movies we, we show. And, you know, 50 years ago, uh, it was just a single screen theater with a thousand seats, just showing the same double feature for the week, because everybody who lived around here wanted to see that one movie, because people were a little bit more homogenous. And now, because it's a different kind of demographic here that's a whole bunch of different kinds of people. Uh, we have to have, you know, four or five different movies playing at the same time so that there is something for everybody. Well, the Somerville Theater is 105 years old and it's been a part of the community here for all that time. It's, it's rolled with all the changes uh, in the city demographically and, uh, and so forth. And I think the most remarkable thing about it is that it's still doing today, over a century later, what it did when it first opened. It's showing movies, it's showing live events, uh, it's engaging with the people who live around here and uh, serving the, the local community and kind of the greater Boston area as well. So it's a family-owned business. It's only been owned by three different families over the century. And uh, so it's about as local as a movie theater can get. Sure, well the theater has certainly uh, changed. I think that uh, you have to change with your city, with your community, if you're going to survive, if you have a chance of surviving. And I think that's one of the reasons this theater is still here because uh, as Somerville has changed, the theater has changed what it offers to reflect that. Uh, but some things are just still the same here in a great way. I mean, the theater that we're standing in here uh, pretty much looks the way it did in 1914. I mean, You've got the balcony and the architecture and the grand drapes and uh, things like that. And so there's a certain comfort in that. It's kind of like uh, it, uh, you know, a Thanksgiving dinner or something. You know to expect it. looks like a classic movie theater when you walk in. And we've had fresh popcorn for years and people know and remember that from when they were children as well. So I think there are the things that we do keep the same. Are, are the good things. Uh, as far as the things that change, aside from our programming, we, we have really great projection and sound. We just installed all new seats in two of our theaters that we completely rebuilt here last year. So we try and keep up with the Joneses as much as we can with the money we have in our pocket, of course. And I think that the other independents, like the Brattle or the Coolidge, we, we kind of all try not to step on each other's feet. And we're doing similar things, but not exactly the same thing necessarily. And so I think we all know each other very well, and, and there's a lot of respect. We host several film festivals, the biggest being the Independent Film Festival. We also host the Irish Film Festival and the Sci-Fi Film Festival. We host our own 70 millimeter and widescreen festival each May. And so those are, you know, a great interruption from the daily grind of movies. They bring in filmmakers often and movie stars sometimes, and it brings a whole diverse audience of people out to the theater who might not normally come out to Davis Square or to Somerville. And so it's a great event, and they're very popular. Uh, we also host live events. We don't produce them ourselves, but we rent the theater to various producers who put on concerts or burlesque shows or stage plays or things like that. So that keeps it interesting as well. I think that how we define ourselves uh, is the things that we do differently that other movie theaters don't do. I think our main customers are, are really just local people who, who probably live within a short car or walk from the theater. Uh, those are for the movies, most of it. I mean, some of the live events that we have here draw from all over New England, and some of our film festivals draw from all over the country or the world, but the, the primary the customer is really just uh, a local who wants to see a movie. Well, we're in a really uh, great area uh, because not only is it incredibly dense in population, but they've got colleges nearby, so there's always new kids coming through with their college money. And, uh, you know, uh, so uh, there's the red line right next door, so we draw people from uh, the greater region. And so, you know, having a, a kind of independent mom and pop theater can be a struggle if you're in a small town or something like that, but we're really lucky to, to have a population that, that wants and supports the kind of programming we do.